Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. Let's see. Let's see. Are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Yeah, alrighty then. That's a good thing. This is your Black Knight, and here we are. It's time once again to free up a little space in the garage. What with the DLC happening? And I, mean, I could, I could get rid of another Duke of Death because they really are kind of obsolete. I might end up doing that because they have a lot of Duke of Deaths. But look at this paint job. Just beautiful. I just I don't want to do that. These two have their places. No question about it. Again, the only way you get these is by killing Merriweather. And this one I'll probably keep stocked. The other one I'm going to fix up fancy. Then there's the Patriots. This one isn't insured because it's got the grill card on it. And the only way you have that is if you take it off the street and park it. And never take it into the Santos Customs because then it gets stripped away and you can never get it again. It's not an option you can buy. So we keep that one. And this is my original uh, my original Hummer that I got. And that's, you know, again, this has the pipes that you lose if it goes into the Santos Customs. But I did all that before they changed uh, the game. There was an update that caused all those things to happen when they brought in the Patriot Stretch. So this is basically a unique and unachievable car. Both of these are, you can't get rid of them, you can't do anything with them. I could grab another one of these off the street, but I mean, yeah, we have one. This one has uh, the Chrome Crew uh, glitch paint job, which that makes it kind of collectible. And it's got everything stripped off, so if they ever fix that someday, maybe this will become an impossible to get vehicle, so I'm keeping that. This, of course, this G-Wagon, this is, you know, this Dubsta, was when I was trying to get dubsters and doing it the wrong way and eventually I just grabbed one and painted it like it was a combination of the two dubsters that you can get, the dubster twos. And I ended up getting those on my other character, on the Rusty Jack. Rusty Jack has got two dubster twos. This has got the combo platter here of that one. If we go up this side, alright, we've already talked about the Mesa. You gotta kill people to get that. You only can you have to have mercenaries called on you or call mercenaries and somebody and then get kill the mercenaries and take their truck. The Lego Mobile. I just have to keep the Lego Mobile because it's just dang silly. It's just silly. I don't imagine there's ever a time I'd use it over an insurgent, but for the memes, maybe. But then there's this. Now this is my XL. This is my Sand King XL. And this was my Hunter. Okay, this was the truck that I used to use when I was trying to steal XLs off the road. This was the car I used to get them to spawn. Now, I, you can get any of these all the time. You can just, you know, this was a little bit trickier because I, a little easier to use because it was fully upgraded, but there's just, there's no pull for me to to do that with excels anymore. I'm not I'm not really going out on the highway and trying to grab as many as I can, store them in a garage, then sell them all at once. And there's not there's not a lot of cause to drive this anymore. I'll show you why. We're gonna take a walk in here briefly. Not gonna pull anything out. Over here, I have my Contender, which is in the Luigi paint job. And the Contender is... Can I look? It's a little smaller than the other one, but it, it's, it handles a lot better. It's a lot quicker. This was the fastest SUV for a while. Now it's, it's no longer. So, I mean, technically speaking, if I wanted to, I could get rid of the Contender. But the Contender is really nice to drive. We'll, we'll talk more about these cars in a future video. But with the content, if I have the contender, do I really need? And I'm almost positive I have a yellow and a blue Excel somewhere. I have one of each of the collectors. If I don't have them here, I have them in my other character. So I mean, I've, if I ever feel like driving a, an Excel, that's not a problem. And this is a car that carries pretty good value. I mean, I think. For what you can grab off the street, and this is fully charged up. Ah, oh, we've had a lot of good times, truck, but I think it's time to say goodbye. 
Do another from the Black the Knight livery. Uh, he can make this beautiful truck. It really is a beautiful truck. Jacked all up there. But I mean, I'm not going to take it off-roading. I mean, if I was going to go off-roading, I'd take the Comanche there, the Camacho, the Camaco, however you want to say, the Camacho. 66000 for it. Am I sure? No, but I'm going to anyway. Vehicle sold. We got another space for hopefully wonderful things which are going to come about in the next DLC. I know, it's a quick one. It's a little bit of a sad one. We're saying bye to my green Sanking XL. In the hopes that in the dozens of cars that are supposed to be coming out with the new DLC, something there will will move the emotion meter more for me. It'll, it'll, it'll make things more exciting than that vehicle ever could have been. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.